Hello everybody, my name is Hamed Ghulam Rezaei or Ghulam Reza from Guri Architecture Academy. Welcome to this lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we will check the very six settings for 3ds Max. Uh, we will teach the final rendering settings and rendering test settings. First, I made a scene uh, for training and used environment color for lighting. If I take a rendering test right now, you will see that the light scene is sufficient. To the rest the rendering, I first active two rendering elements, denoiser and light mix. Uh, light mix is a tool for lighting settings. The first three modes are more useful. Individual light is mode where each light source can be changed separately. But in group light mode, the same light source have the, uh, have the same settings. The second step for rendering test is proper framing. We can use common sizes or change the fit of the image as desired. By changing the ratio of height and width, we will have different types of frames. The number we put in resolution field will not affect the size of the interactive rendering. In the interactive rendering, changing the size of the frame buffer directly affects the size of the image resolution. The, si the, the, reason, the reason for adding two rendering elements, denoiser and light mix, was to be able to control the lights and be able to see the flues in the work and with denoiser we could see rendering defects faster we can also use the lens effect to make the light source more natural but what should we do for the final rendering in the final rendering the, uh, the number we put in the resolution section is very important there are two modes for the image sampler, which are called progressive and bucket. Progressive mode calculates all the set resolution at once. So it will put more pressure on your computer system, but its, advantage, uh, yeah, but its advantages is that whenever you are satisfied with rendering condition, you can stop the rendering and send it. Also, one of the other advantages that because the whole image is calculated at once you can see the flues in the final rendering but but the bucket mode is suitable for when you have made sure that there are no problems in the final rendering and your scene is uh, or um, your scene is heavy or uh, you have considered a high resolution which causes in instability of your computer system which result in jumping out of software or hanging in this case you can use the bucket mode because it uh, divides the image into smaller parts which makes calculations with less pressure on your computer system and the next important option in the final rendering is noise threshold. The closer this number is to zero, the less noise your final rendering will have. Uh, but the longer your rendering time will be, the um, denoiser tool can be very useful in this uh, regard and and secondary lights will also uh, suffice in the default mode. 